Salam Alaikum. I'm Dawn Priolet and I am here for Cancer. I'm doing your Love Tarot reading and this is basically for the month of March and the remaining week of February. We're in the final week of February pretty much and so I'm going to start out by giving you your angel messages. Excellent, excellent news for cancer people. New love. So if you are single, this could be a new love coming into your life. If you are married or otherwise you uh, are in a committed relationship, it could be just a renewal of love. Um, if things haven't maybe been quite so uh, fiery lately, you may have a um, Maybe you might make up after an argument or something like that, a renewal of your love, or for some people, even a renewal of your vows to each other. Um, the next card I got from the angels is power. Cancer, you are sitting fully in your power. You are owning your power. You are owning your right to be here. Your deserving your worthiness and for some of you that includes your unique gifts talents and abilities um, for healing and as a coach whatever kind of work that you do like you are owning it sister or brother whatever the case may be um, the next card for cancer from the angels friendship so, you know, it looks like you're, you are just very, very attractive for the month of March, Cancer, both in attracting romantic love and attracting friendships as well, being a valued friend right now. So excellent, excellent cards for Cancer so far. Now, since this is your love tarot reading, this was how we started out. Um, this is either the way from your past, your, your near past, or what's going on right now. And this is the two of stays, but it came up in the reverse. So when it comes up like this, I would say it's kind of like you're ready to embark on something new. Maybe even a long distance relationship that just came up. <laughs> but because it's in the reverse, what I'm feeling with that is some hesitation and um, maybe a thinking twice about it. Okay. And the next card that I had come up was the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune, when it comes up particularly um, upright, this is good luck. This is the wheel of karma, wheel of fortune. And this is a very fortunate card. And the next card that came up was the Empress. And maybe this is why for some of you, there is some hesitation. Sometimes when the Emperor shows up, this could actually bring with it news of a new baby, you know, a pregnancy. And so, uh, yeah, that could be a cause of hesitation for some of you to be very cautious. And so, yeah, I want to say to you, if, if you don't feel you're ready for that, you know, you have free will. Just be cautious. For others of you, this could just mean that there is this element of nurturing within your relationship, either from your part or from your partner. This is a very nurturing kind of energy. And just be sure, ladies, that if it is you, remember it is a recipe for cancer to be doing things to take care of a man any, anyone really who's over the age of five doing things for him or, that they can do, you know, he can do it for himself. Okay. Now that, that's not to say 
that uh, when you have a home together, you have a household together, um, you know, you do have agreements about who does what around the house, hopefully based on who likes to do whatever. Um, so that's, that's not to say that he has to do everything, but I mean, basically, you know, it's just like, it could be a warning, like, don't treat him like a boy. Don't treat him that way because, um, if you don't want a little boy, don't treat him that way. Okay. Um, allow yourself to be nurtured cancer. If you are a cancer woman. Um, but other than that, it could just mean a focus on motherhood. Um, if you have children, maybe you're, you're needing to be especially motherly to the children that you have right now. Maybe you have some special needs children. I don't know where that's coming from, but for some of you, maybe you do actually have a child with special needs who really is in need of your attention right now. And it may be affecting your romantic life, your romantic relationship. And so that's what I have for you, uh, Cancer. And I just want to let you know I am doing specials this month. Uh, I have a special reading, a one-hour reading, one-on-one. -on -one. And it's a Zoom reading or phone reading or Skype reading, however you choose. But you'll have a whole hour with me. And I'm doing that at half price this month. So go to the link below if you're interested in that. And also subscribe to my channel so that you can um, get the notifications when I come out with your money readings as well. Um, that'll probably be in the next couple of days. So um, I want to pull just one more card for you guys. Just one more card. So think of a question, something that you already have in your mind, and maybe I've touched upon it but there's more of an answer that you want. So think of something that's really on your mind while I pull this card for you, Cancer. Oof. Okay. It's the devil. The devil has to do with your addictions, um, your lower self, the things that you may feel are keeping you tied down right now. So if um, your question is pertaining to something that is stopping you from really moving forward in your life, I would say the answer is, is your addictive tendencies. And remember, if you are a woman who is under the age of 45, remember anytime you sleep with a man, well, let me be clear on this. Anytime you have sex with a man, you are bonding yourself to him, okay? Um, this one, it, you don't see it in the picture very clearly, but I know in the other decks I have, it has a man and a woman who are literally chained together. Okay. And so uh, cancer, if, if you're a woman, a young woman, and that means something to you, um, please heed that advice as well as remember that the Empress came up for you as well. So if you're worried about pregnancy and you are worried about being even further bonded to somebody who might not be quite right for you, take that as a, as a word of warning. Okay. And if you need further advice, um, please contact me at the link below or contact me on Facebook, Messenger, my YouTube channel, <laughs> And um, I will see you hopefully soon. We'll talk or I'll see you in the next video. Masalam.